days that you're misfortune and not my own. Get it high, I owe, get along, you little doggies, you know that the ferry will be your new home. Now for the adventures of Lightning Jim. Late one night, Hubert Butler, owner of the Parmalee Gold Mine, was weighing the bullion which was to be packed for shipment the following day. Mm, 20 pounds and four, five, six, six ounces. Hey, who's that? What the... Do not reach for that gun, Senor Butler. Boy, you can't get away with this. There's three guards standing outside of here. But I managed to get in here, Senor. Perhaps I shall be able to get out as well. If you try to get out, carrying the gold is sure to get you. I do not want your filthy gold, senor. You ain't after the gold? Well, what do you want? You see what I hold in my hand, senor butler? Yeah, sure, sure, I see. It's a knife, a silver knife. You're right. It is a silver knife. And on the handle is carved a word. Muerto. Muerto? What? Why, that's Spanish for death. Si, hey, senor. Muerto, death. And the blade. Can you see the blade, senor? Yeah, 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 I see it. This blade also has carving, senor butler. Would you like to know what name is written on this blade? No, 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 no. What do I care what name is carved on your fancy knife? Keep away from me. The name that is engraved on this blade, senor, is your own, Hubert Butler. My name? You got my name on that knife. <laughs> You ain't going to kill me, are you? Here, here, take the gold. I'll order the guards off. I'll fix it so you can take it all. Oh, don't kill me. Stop. Oh. 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 And late in that same month, in the valley below the Parmalee Lode, Ernest Livingston, judge of the district court, sits up late reviewing the records of the day's hearings. Famous mm-hmm. notice, Judge Livingston. Well, what in tarnation? Who are... Stay where you are, senor. All right, all right. You got me covered. But you're wasting your time, Mac. I haven't any cash in the house. I'm not interested in your cash, senor Livingston. Not interested in cash? Well, what are you here for, then? Who are you? Since the death of senor butler, I am called El Muerto. Mm-hmm. You're the low border? Mm-hmm. Nice, but I say, senor. Muerto. Yes. Hey, what's that? A knife. A silver knife. Yeah. You ain't going to kill me. What? Your name, Judge Livingston. I have engraved it on his blade. It would be pity to waste so much hard work, no, if we dodge. No. No. Don't tell me. I'll get your money. I'll get it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the work is <laughs> No! Two weeks later, in his room at district headquarters, United States Marshal Herman Trudy tosses restlessly in his sleep. Wake up, Marshal Trudy. Huh? What? Who was it? El Muerto. Yes. You were expecting me, were you not, Sr. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, no. No. Of course I wasn't expecting you. Why should I be expecting you? You lie, Marshal Trudy. You knew I would kill you if I have killed for your butler and George Livingston. No, no. Yes, I will kill, kill others after you are gone. No, no, no. Hey, Jesus. Good night. Silver knife. No, no, don't do it. 
Go tell it. I'll get your money. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> hideous, sardonic laughter. The quick thrust of a silver knife beat into her throat. El Muerto has claimed another victim. Three lives have been forfeited to the rapacious vengeance of the unknown killer. The last, that of a United States Marshal. And Lightning Jim is sent down to Southern Territory to bring to justice this fiend of the borderline. Every horse is ten miles from my month. And Mr. Doggone Hungry, I could eat the boiled dog. Said this to Norbert, Jan. Oh, is mysterious, Whitey. Mysterious? Well, let me tell you right now, Lightning Jim, I don't see nothing mysterious about being hungry at six o'clock in the night. Time. Hungry? Oh, yeah, you were talking about being hungry, weren't you, Whitey? Well, well, I've always. You must have listened to a thing I said. I'm sorry, Whitey, but I was just trying to figure out what possible connection there could be to the murder of a rich mine owner. United States Marshal and the judge of the district. Well, maybe this El Muerto actually is a madman, that's right. Well, maybe there is no connection to the killing. Oh, uh, if El Muerto was just a mad killer, why, didn't, why would he bother to go through the victim's papers every time? No, sir, he, I'd bet my bottom dollar that he is the same as you or me. And what's more, I think that the things he finds out after each murder lead him to his next killer. Then maybe you must think he's going to stick the knife into somebody else. I think we know he went to march the through his pile of people. That's just what I think, Whitey. And the only link between these three men, Butler, Judge Livingston, and Marshal Trudy, that we've been able to discover is the purchase of the Palmley gold mine property. Well, let's see now. Uh, Butler got that land by buying up the mortgage from the bank, didn't he? Yeah. The property originally belonged to a Mexican horse trader named Manuel Madriguera. He was hung for murder and his wife, so this property was sold at public auction. Well, I think look who's riding this way. Hey, oh, boy, oh, oh, Thunder. Well, if it ain't me, gal. Hey, hey, me, gal. You old son of a gun, how are you? Hey, <laughs> It's me, me, gal. Like them Jim. Oh, this is the prize. Oh, I'm happy again. Well, forgive me, I did not recognize my so good friend. It's a long time since we meet, Signore. I did not look to see you in for it, son. <laughs> oh, and it was strange to surprise to see you, too, yeah, again. Yeah, thought you was in the East. Oh, see, I am in the East for two years, Signore. I have much luck with El Capitan here. Now I come back to my home to get more horse to race, you see. But, uh, what do you get your yes, way down here to the border, huh? Well, uh, you meant the state marshal went and got himself killed uh, here in the uh, mountain, Miguel. See? Hmm? And like, you know, me is coming for a yes for the children. El Muerto, he's called. Oh, El Muerto, eh? Yeah. So, you're on the tail of El Muerto. That's it. See, I have heard of El Muerto, senior like in Jim. He has killed others besides these marshals you speak of. No, it's for Two others, Miguel. And I've got a hunch there'll be more if we don't nab the murderer and Lobo for long. Yeah, how about talking all this over as we eat? <laughs> yeah, I could tuck away some food myself, Whitey. Come on, Miguel, we all ride into Iamonte and talk over old times while we eat, huh? Oh, I'm so sorry, but it is already nearly dark and I have appointment to see very fine horses in Oh, it's too bad. Oh, maybe we need tomorrow, eh? Sure, Miguel, and I hope the horse you're going to look at turns out to be what you want. Well, he is the right caller anyway, so you're... So a part of my world is settled at least. The right caller? You mean you won't buy this any color horse, Miguel? Even if there's plenty of us? Oh, I will buy any color, Whitey, so long as he is all one. Oh. <laughs> you won't buy a horse that's got markings, is that it, Miguel? Yes, uh, see. Uh, marked horses, they are likely marked cards. Both bad luck for Miguel, huh? <laughs> oh, it's still like maybe there is something to that. Miguel's uh, El Capitan is solid sorrel. Yeah. Thunder solid black. And my horse is all white and uh, we're all locked. <laughs> <laughs> you better find out whether that works for dogs too, Whitey. If it does, your pup better start looking for a new home. <laughs> oh, it's just so. Well, my pup, the dog, has the prettiest markings I ever saw. But I tell you, if he was spotted like a leopard, I still think he was the luckiest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> 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 That night, after hashing and rehashing the evidence so far accumulated, Lightning Jim is forced to the conclusion that the only possible link between the murders of the judge, the United States Marshal, and the owner of the Parmalee Lode must lie hidden beneath the event of the mine purchase. 
In desperation, the two marshals walk over to the home of Simon Russell, president of the Ayamonte Bank. And next victim is hanged for murder in his sight. No heirs appear to claim the estate, and the yard's order to sold at public auction to pay off the mortgage. Yet you got the young suppression over the bank at the dead of midnight. Now, it ain't Russell Sleep you're worrying about, Whitey. It's your own. But if he's still awake, there are a few things I'd like to know about that there mortgage on Manuel Madrigal's property. Well, there ain't nothing to that lightning. Butler bought up the mortgage and the flock, you know? Yeah? So lucky that two months later he can sink a shaft for the richest vein of ore in the state of New Mexico. Dear Lightning, ain't this case mixed up enough for us to find him more trouble? Hey, you sure ain't strong on brain teasers, are you, Whitey? Well, you won't never be no more than just a deputy if you don't learn to do a little detective work. You and the United States Marshal call for more than just liking to fight and being able to handle a six gun, you know. Oh, maybe so. But me ain't hard to use the sex gun that's going to come in my hand when we meet up with this Elmo after all. <laughs> yes, here we are, Whitey. This is a banker's house. Hmm, wonder what this horse is doing tied out here this time of night. Well, maybe Russell has company like him. He ain't that horse that beautiful. Ah, boy, you Look at that nice one. Yeah. Pity that boy now. Easy oh, boy. We ain't gonna have this. That's it. Boy, like him, I bet you this horse can go like blue blue. Yeah, sure. Yeah, one Miguel. I saw him this boy. Now, oh, Miguel wouldn't have nothing to do with him, Whitey. Look at the white blaze on his face. Yeah, watch a foot wide. Oh, that's right, Lightning. Like, and Miguel won't ride a horse that's got more on No. So long, old fella. Come on, Whitey. He could bother the banker when he's got company, but our business is important. Can't wait. Look, Lightning, like, the front door's already open. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's that? Quick, hey. Whitey. That thing came from over here. This door's locked. You'll have to break it off. Yeah, come on now. Both at once. Go! Yeah. Again. Again, hard. Yeah. Yeah. The light's been put off. Yeah. That front window, Whitey. It's open. There he goes. Hold on, Dana. You shooting Whitey is out of range. Yo, he got to be in the horse. They were tied up, but uh, hey, do you think they were there more? So light. I don't know, Whitey. There's a lamp. I light it and we can look around. Over in the corner, like him. Uh, body. Then there must be the bank. Yeah, I reckon so, Whitey. That was El Muerto that got away, all right. Look at the handle of this knife in the front of the Well, why we stand in here talking, Lightning? Come on, let's get on the trail of that burning place. No, Whitey, that wouldn't do no good. Time we could make it back to headquarters and get a horses. El Muerto would be safely hidden back in the hills. So, where must we do next? Dead uh, blasted look at this knife, will you? Why, why, that's just like the orders. And it's got Russell's name on the blade, too. Come on, Whitey. We're going to bust open that private safe in the corner there and have a look at the banker's personal account. I'm going to catch this bloodthirsty sidewinder, El Muerto, if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> Keeping late hours, Whitey. After all, I told you about little boys leaving their sleep. But a great, great horn, too, Whitey. Listen to this. So? Mr. Simon Russell, etc. I want you to tell Butler he can take his cut out of the first yield of the Parmalee load, and he can give you and the judge and Marshal Trudy yours at the same time. Yes, okay. Buying the equipment to sink the shaft has taken all my cash. And I can't pay any of you till the mine starts paying. Well, now, please. It's signed with initials F.H. By God, it's lightning. Then that must mean that Butler wasn't the real owner of the primary gold mine after all. Yeah, judging from this letter, he was just a figurehead. Hmm, I wonder who has initials F.H. Say, I speak in a week, it's lightning. They tell me that ranch that ends at the foot of the hills for the Palmer Gold Mine is it's the biggest in the whole country. Uh, you know, the Ladder H ranch. The Ladder H? Yes. You've got it, buddy. The man who owns the Ladder H. Fix Huffman. That's it. He must be the real owner of the Palmer Mine. Here it's you the... are, Signore. Do not reach for your gun. The black cap and mask. This El Muerto. All right, El Muerto. You've got to drop on it. Uh, the very interesting information, Senor Marshal, about Fritz Hoffman owning the car permanently gold to mine, I mean. Uh, is a thing I did not know. So that's what you came back for, eh? To find the name of your next victim? Yes, and you have told you. 
It is Senor Hoffman. And perhaps I have come back to kill you as well, Senor Marshal. Why, you dirty, two-legged poor cat, you. Ain't she got enough blood on your hands, old Eddie? Don't worry, Whitey. Young Wetter ain't gonna kill us. Why, he ain't had time to carve our names on his fancy knife. And he wouldn't want to spoil his reputation by anything so ordinary as a shooting. Now, would you, Elm Wetter? You are a very brave man, Senor Marshal, to make joke when you are at the mercy of Elm Wetter. But if I am, as you say, to kill you, as I have killed the others, I must get to work. Three knives. Yeah. It will take time to engage three knives. You mean you, you are going to carve our names on your knife, maybe stand by and watch you? Why not, Senor? No, but no. On second thought, I believe I shall tie you up and place you in the closet which is just behind you. It will save me the trouble of keeping you covered while I work. Does Elmo S. Tor, the fiendish killer of four men, really plan to murder Lightning Jim and Whitey as well as Fritz Hoffman, owner of the Ladder 8 Ranch? The surprising climax of this Lightning Jim adventure follows immediately. <laughs> Now for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, The Vengeance of El Muesto. Having trapped the two marshals, El Muesto has bound them tightly and locked them in a large closet at the home of the murdered bank president. For more than an hour, they struggle to free themselves. And finally, by a gigantic effort, Lightning Jim succeeds in loosening the rope about his wrist. When he has freed Whitey, they force open the closet door, tear back to headquarters for their horses, and start out for the ladder race, hoping to get there in time to prevent another El Muesto murder. Can't you go a little faster, Lightning? No, not down this rocky hillside, Whitey. Besides, look over there in the east. Storm's breaking. You tell him where to eat already, Doc Hoffman. He won't strike till it's dark again. Hey, hold on, Lightning. Poor oh, boy. Wolf under. Easy, boy. What's up, Whitey? Look at that river down by the creek below, Whitey. Yeah, I see. There by the bridge. Maybe that's El Muerto. Maybe so, Whitey. What is he doing to that horse? Tell me this back to us this way. I can't see. But for the race door and it's reversing all at it again, Miss. Hey, listen, Waddy. If that's El Murato, we don't want to take no chances on his getting away. I'm going to challenge him from here. Race for the sky, stranger. Quick! Come on. see that Miguel like me. Yeah, the joke's on us, Waddy. Come on, Sandy. Come on, boy. Hey, man, Miguel! Why? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, man, Johnny. Why did you Tell you, boy. I mean, Gavin, why did he thought you were somebody else? Oh, no, but Gallus, you thought you were El Muerto, Miguel. Uh-huh. Can you imagine? We didn't expect to see you out here so early in the morning. Oh, and it is much early. I like to be up, Whitey. Yes, but yes. you see, I had a race with Senor Hoffman's horse this morning, and we should give the Capitan plenty time to rest on the ride out to the ladder race. Oh, but give this what was you doing to El Capitan when we rode off Miguel? <laughs> it looked like you were giving him a bath or something. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, Whitey. I'm, I'm just giving El Capitan a little water in my hands so that he will not drink too heavy before the big race. Now, don't you curry curiosity satisfied, Whitey. Let's get going. Come on, Miguel. We're heading for the ladder age, too. We can ride the rest of the way together, huh? Oh, see, si, see, si, senor. That is fine idea. Oh, steady, El Capitan. Oh. Hey, hey, you're losing something, Miguel. Uh, the black thing that's about to fall out of your saddle bag. Uh, they're good. Yeah, well, it's a tape, a black tape. Oh, that's what it is, all right. Where'd you get that tape, Miguel? Oh, I find him over there by the bridge, eh? See, he's all pulled up. Uh, he's fine shape, no? I'm lucky man, you know what I You think there is El Muerto's keeper like me? El Muerto? 
You say it belonged to El Muerto? Well, it can be sure, of course, but it looks like the one El Muerto was wearing last night, right enough. Last night? You see El Muerto last night, Norris? Yo, oh, and what's more, we saw his horse, too, Miguel. That's a dead ringer for El Capitana. Except that it's got the big uh, white place on the front of the face. Oh, sure. There is no other horse like El Capitan, no. <laughs> well, I reckon we all feel that way about our own horses, Miguel. Yes, yes. Hey, that gives me an idea. Will you do something for me, Miguel? Oh, certainly, Senior Lightning Jim. Good. I want you to ride back to Ayamonte and scout around for that horse why we just described to you. Your oh. selective idea. Everyone knows that Miguel wants to buy a horse, and this way no one will suspect it's on the trail of El Muerto. But, my race, senor, I've told Senor Hoffman I will arrive by 9 o'clock. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about that race if I was you, Miguel. Unless I'm very much mistaken, Fitz Hoffman is lying up at his ranch house with one of El Muerto's silver knives sticking in his gullet. Oh, yes, but this is terrible. This El Muerto, he, he is disgrace to my people. Here, I will try to find this horse for you pronto. All right, now get going. And report back to my headquarters if you don't find no trace of him by noon. Si, senor. Oh, but the cape, uh, I may have the cape. <laughs> Try to take it a shine with that cape, ain't you? <laughs> sure, you can have it toss it to him, Whitey. Hey, look at that. There's something in the pocket there. But, but see, that's in the corn book. In the corn book and some chalk. Give me that notebook, Whitey. Notebook? Is it any at his notebook? Hmm. No, Miguel. This is Fritz Huffman's private account book. Reckon this fool's I was right about Huffman being dead. Well, can you and I like him? We've got to do something in a hurry. This bloodthirsty coyote will kill everybody in the country if we don't get them soon. That is so, Senor Lightning Jim. But is there nothing we can do to stop him? Do you find uh, any notations in the book which will help us track down these miserable goats of Ikea? Well, here's a funny thing. About the time of the purchase of the Parmalee load, Huffman paid $1,000 to Pedro Geronimo. Pedro Havrani? Yes. Why, that's Black Pedro that owns the big gambling one back at Ayamante. Yep, that's just who it is, Waddy. Now, where do you suppose a rat like Black Pedro comes into this picture? Oh, senor, I must be on my way. Uh, every minute that this maniac is losing the danger to your reputation and to the lives of our prominent citizens. Adios, my friend. Uh, you're right, Miguel. Good luck to you. Good luck, Miguel. Goodbye. Come on, Sander. Get yourself a good long drink, old boy. And we head on for the latter eight. That's your bad idea, you like him. And maybe we'll find out something there. By the way, what'd you do with that piece of chalk you found in the tape pocket, Whitey? Oh, here it is, sir. Hey, Miguel went off without the tape like him. And after all the fuss he made <laughs> over that, too. Well, he got kind of excited when he, when he found that account book, Whitey. But don't just get started on the trail of it, sir. Holy smoke. What's the trouble, Lee? What's the fun? It's chalk, Whitey. It's got some horse hairs on it. Horse hairs? Well, uh, what you think? There's no time to explain now, Whitey. If we've got to ride like the wind, we're going to prevent another El Muerto murder. Let's go, Thunder! Come in, come in. Monte de Dios! El Muerto! Yeah. El Muerto. And for your sins, Black Pedro, you are going to die. Die by these knives. Oh, the silver knife. Oh, no, no. I have not done anything. You cannot do it. Take your hands oh. down from your lying throat, you pig. I am fine. Oh, you have to die. Found in the chief's pocket that gave me the clue, Miguel. 
As soon as I saw the horse, uh, still clinging to it, I got to thinking how El Muerto's horse was a dead ring up to your El Capitan. Except for the white blaze. No, oh, I get the light thing. Miguel, you saw that white blaze in El Capitan to throw us off the track. That's it, Whitey. But what made you do it, Miguel? Murder all these men, I mean. <laughs> because, Miguel, I came back to my home and found the crime mother has been ordered. And my father, he has been hung for the crime. Why? Right. But then you must be the son of Manuel Madrigal. See, see, your heart. Manuel, he was my father. See, your Hoffman, he find out someone who gave gold on my father's land. So he hired Black Pedro to kill my mother. Hired Black Pedro to shoot your mother, shoot a woman down in cold blood? See, see, your And that, that is not all. Your Hoffman, he, he tried to kill and the mercy of my father accused of killing his wife. To hang him, Senor, for a handful of gold to hang a man who they know to be innocent. No, but what about that for the bank? He didn't do nothing but sell a mortgage to the bank and have a man who has land. But a forged mortgage, Senor. Senor. Yes, you know all about the plot. They all know. Oh, the trick was a smart. No one could find out. But they make big mistakes, Senor. I, I, I find out. I, I kill them. I kill them. Like, you <laughs> He's gone, right? He's dead. Yeah, buddy. Miguel's dead. Yeah, and I'm certainly glad you lived long enough to tell us why he killed all those men like that. I sure would have hated to think that Miguel was just a cold-blooded killer like they've seen the first. Yes, buddy. And I'm going to do my best to see to it that the next marshal and judge were appointed to this territory. A man who can be trusted to uphold the rights of Mexicans and Americans alike. <laughs> So ends another thrilling chapter in the adventures of Lightning Jim Whipple, United States Marshal, and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm-hmm.